consideration of him as a blocker. You know, that was a big question coming sure. into this season, his progress. Yeah, I think he continues to get better and better. Um, we have uh, put him in in a lot more difficult situations than we have, uh, you know, any of the other tight ends since I came back. Um, so he's asked to single up on some defensive ends and do some things that have kind of helped us, I think, in our run schemes and our run game, try to free up an extra guy uh, as a puller or, you know, get an extra guy up into the hole uh, if we're running a power play or whatever. His ability to uh, grow and learn as a blocker, I think, is, is he's, he's made leaps and bounds from where he was obviously a year ago at this time and continues to get better. Now, about a month ago you said Koyak, well, they're kind of just in the baby step phase, kind of feeling their way around. Yeah. You just assess uh, how they've come along. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm really pleased with both of those guys. I, I think, you know, Ben Koyak, for being a true freshman, uh, has matured at a rate that you'd like to see a, a guy who's kind of thrown into the fire do it. You know, obviously... Uh, if you had a choice, you'd, you'd like to have a, a healthy Mike Ragone for the entire season. But, you know, Ben has kind of taken up the mantle, and, and, and Alex as well has, has really continued to develop their games and I think are at least uh, in a position where when we put them in a football game, we're going to feel confident that they can get the job done.